Hello and welcome to Reef Girl's Daily Dose number 9. Today's focus is on getting this new frag tank ready so that I can start moving coral into it and freeing up space elsewhere, mainly in the observation tank, so the fish actually have room to swim around. Yep, time to collect a water sample. Test the parameters, see where we're at. Here are the test results. Alkalinity, 8. 0 0.008. I'll have to watch that in case it needs dosing. Phosphate, very low, 0 0.006. I will have to dose some phosphate to bring that up. Nitrate, 14.6. I'm going to leave that alone for a while and try to get the phosphate level to match. And potassium, 390. This could be low because my makeup salt water is low. Now that foam, I think, means that's a bit of a dead spot. So I need to add another power head in here. I added a power head down here, just a small high door, and you can see it's kind of aimed up at the back corner. I tilted the filter and I redirected the spray bar so the flow goes more up towards the top. You can see from this angle. And this power head, it's one of the coral box ones. I moved a little closer to the surface to try and churn the water a little more. So I'll keep an eye on it over the next few days. And it might seem insignificant, but this little string from the media bag is moving in flow. So there is also flow across the bottom. And any corals that I put on the bottom, of course, will get some. And it's not intense. It's just kind of gentle, which is perfect. All right, so we have the light on now. And the timer's all set. And I have to do my first official top off. You can see the water levels dropped. I have some RODI water. And I'm just gonna pour it in. Right now I have nothing in the tank. So I don't need to worry about mixing it. But I'll have to be more careful once there are actual corals in here, obviously. So that was roughly 500 milliliters of water. I could probably put a little bit more in, but I'm going to leave it at that for right now until I check it with the uh, refractometer. You can probably see there's a bit of a haze on the water. So I'm going to add the small media bag of carbon that comes with the ovation filter. And here's why you should always rinse those things, because look at this. This is RO water. This I dropped it in and immediately with a couple of uh, dips, this is what came out of it. So I'm gonna do that again until the water is clear, however many times it takes, and then I'm going to place it in the filter. So this took six rinses <laughs> with RODI water to get it to the point where the water's clear. I will shut the filter off. It's this plug right here. It's now shut off. I'm gonna unplug it. Just to be sure. It took quite some effort to get this off the glass, but I finally did. And you can see there's the little basket and I'll take the lid off, it's right there. Remove the filter pads that are in there and replace them with the media bag. There's only room for one layer of filter. The lid is back on and I'm gonna snap it back onto the filter. There we go. Turn everything back on again and we're up and running. Yesterday we were talking about powerhead uglies. Well, here's another one. I turned the powerhead off, grab my OXO brush, and I'll give it a good scrub. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, why not give it a thumbs up? And I'll see you tomorrow.